Dennis Rader, a serial killer who called himself BTK, which stands for Bind, Torture and Kill. He murdered 10 people from 1974 to 1991, but he was not caught until 2005. Dennis tie up his victim in elaborate knots of an erotic nature and he would choke his victims. He derived great joy from their prolonged agony and suffering. He would then masturbate on their corpse. His pathological need to communicate with the media and law enforcement led to his arrest and entered the BTK killer's reign of terror. Dennis exhibits both psychological as well as physical sexual sadism paraphilic disorder. What are paraphilic disorders? Paraphilic disorders earlier known as sexual perversion are sexual mental health conditions that have to do with extreme or unusual sexual fantasies, urges and behaviors. Paraphilic disorders also known as paraphilias are mental illness in which people have intense and persistent sexual urges that cause distress or interfere with daily life. Types Exhibitionism It is a desire to or act of exposing one's genitalia to an unsuspecting person or people or performing sexual acts in front of others. Fetishism It is the sexual excitement obtained from the use of inanimate objects. Froterism It is the touching or rubbing against a non-consenting person. Pedophilia it is the sexual preference or sexual attraction towards children. Sexual masochism. It is a desire to be humiliated, beaten, tied up or other sufferings to achieve sexual pleasure. Sexual sadism. The physical or emotional suffering of another person. Voyeurism. It urges to watch a person while they are naked, undressing, performing sexual acts or activities that are considered private without their knowledge. Transvestism It is the sexual arousal associated with clothing and accessories associated with the opposite sex. Note otherwise specified. Some paraphilias do not meet full diagnostic criteria for a paraphilic disorder but may have uncontrolled sexual impulses that cause enough distress for the sufferer that they are recognized. Examples of such paraphilias include necrophilia that is towards the corpses, then scatology that is obscene phone calls, then coprophilia towards feces and defecation and zoophilia that is towards animals. Symptoms The symptoms of paraphilic disorder vary depending on the type that is being diagnosed. However, there are some common traits for these disorders that are intense thought related to sex or sexual fantasies. Repeated objectification of people, animals or objects. The compulsive need to engage in offensive sexual behavior. Distress. The intensity of sexual attraction can be overwhelming enough to cause distress. Fear and guilt of punishment. The unusual or forbidden nature of a paraphilia often causes symptoms of fear and guilt of punishment. Depression or anxiety. Paraphilia sufferers may experience depression or anxiety that is temporarily relieved by engaging in paraphilic behavior and thus leading to an addictive cycle. Causes. Biological factors. 
Paraphilic disorder can be caused by biological factors such as genetics and hormone, but they may also be the result of psychological trauma. In addition, hormonal imbalance and brain injury can cause this disorder. Evidence from some studies indicates that certain abnormalities in the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain correlate with pedophilic urges. Social factors such as education and upbringing also have some say in the incidence of this disorder. Childhood trauma. People who are victims of sexual, emotional and other forms of abuse, especially if it happens during childhood, may identify with the abuser in a way that they act out what they suffered at that early age by victimizing others in one way or another. Behavioral. Behavioral learning model suggests that a child who is the victim or observer of inappropriate sexual behavior may learn to imitate that behavior. Compensation. This model suggests that the individuals are deprived of normal sexual contacts and thus seek gratification through less socially acceptable means. Diagnosis Self-Report Questionnaire To provide a detailed self-report questionnaire prior to the clinical interview, patients may find it easier to complete such an assessment in the privacy of their own home rather than in a physician's office. The clinical interview can then focus on specific areas in which the patient has responded affirmatively to the questionnaire. Psychosexual Evaluation Learn about patient's sexual fantasies and behaviors. Assess if the sexual interest causes the individual any impairment, emotional distress or risk of harm and if it requires any intervention. Collateral Information Prior relationship or sexual partners may be able to elaborate on a patient's sexual behaviors. Prior treatment records and police reports may also be useful. Police reports can document sexual offending behaviors associated with the patient's paraphilic interest and may signal a greater need for treatment. Psychophysiological Assessments Visual Reaction Time that is VRT and Penile plethysmography. First one is visual reaction time. Computer programs can assess VRT by displaying images of male and female adults and children on a computer screen and having a patient click through the images and rate his self-reported interest in them. Increased VRT for prepubescent, that is children's image may signal the presence of a pedophilic interest. Next is penile plethysmography. It measures the change in penile circumference or volume in response to potentially arousing auditory or visual stimuli. This test also used to assess for pedophilic interest, but it can also be used to identify the presence of sexual response to other stimuli such as sadistic themes, animals, etc. Management There are limited treatment options for paraphilic disorder. Psychotherapy Mild paraphilia and subdiagnostic atypical sexual interest and fantasies may be managed with psychotherapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy. Medication For paraphilic disorders, medication should be a mainstay of treatment. Anti-androgen medications and gonadotropin releasing hormone, it reduces the testosterone levels by different mechanism with the goal of decreasing sex drive and eliminating paraphilic fantasies and urges. 
they have the added benefit of injectable and long acting formulations that can improve patients adherence to the treatment regimen so this is all about the paraphilic disorder hope you like this video please subscribe the channel for more videos on related content thank you and keep smiling